They haven't dealt with members of parliament who have retweeted Tommy Robinson. They haven't dealt with members of parliament who have made Islamophobic comments. They haven't dealt with members of parliament who have hosted Islamophobes in the houses of parliament. They haven't dealt with councillors and candidates who have made vile comments like Muslims should not be in public life, Muslims should, not, would, should be removed from our schools, Muslims should be thrown off bridges, Muslims should be deported simply for raising the issue of Islamophobia. I mean, it, it's, it goes on and on linked groups members there's no sense of transparency about what the process is there's no detail on the number of cases that have been dealt with there's no detail on who is suspended and who is expelled we've seen recently the case that we've had in Harlow Peter Lamb where he was allegedly suspended he was then brought back into the party and nobody knew about it he was then apparently uh, supported he was supported by the National Party and indeed the local party right through to this morning Morning, and in the end he resigned the party failed to deal with it and what I'm saying to the party initially for two years privately more recently publicly to say you have to deal with this rot that is now set